Hey guys, my name is Frank and today I'm going to be reviewing this cabinet that I bought from rtacabinetstore.com. It's one of the Arlington Linen Shaker line. I bought eight cabinets for $2,000 with the Labor Day sale and I saved some money, but I got really, really cheap cabinets and they're actually breaking on me. The panels, the clasp that hold the panels together, the little alloy screws inside are actually shattering when I just apply regular torque with a screwdriver. Now they are Phillips head screws, but I mean, they're supposed to be ready to assemble for anyone, and anyone can make the mistake of using uh, a regular flathead screwdriver as opposed to a Phillips head. Now, on this particular cabinet, I've got three clasps on the top and three more on the bottom, and then I believe four inside, two here and two over there. Um, so that's ten altogether, and two out of ten broke. So that's one in five of these clasps have broken on me. I wasn't applying excessive torque or anything like that. These things just shattered. Here, come in and take a close up of this particular one because the fact that these things are breaking is rendering it impossible to put this cabinet together. Now, these are supposed to hold the panels together tightly like that, but because this thing shattered out completely with just a little bit of torsion from my, my screwdriver here, there's no way for me to connect this anymore and the cabinet is basically shot unless I want to take this off and put my own piece of wood in here and screw these two panels together, which if they don't take my return is what I'm going to have to do. Now to return these things, it's 20% to ship them back and well, that's the restocking fee, but there's also the shipping fee to ship them back. So overall, just the 20% is going to cost me $400 plus probably another hundred dollars to ship all this stuff back because I bought eight of these things in different sizes. Take a closer look at the clasp over here so you can see what we're looking at here. Uh, as you can see, the, the plastic housing here is not really secured to the plywood that well. It's actually glued on. And then inside we have a piece that kind of twists around to connect this exterior plastic housing to the interior plastic housing, which has this little T in the middle that that metal piece kind of flips around to lock the two panels together. Now the plastic itself is fine, but the alloy in these metal screws is just complete garbage, super cheap, breaks apart, and to be honest, I'm not too happy with the rest of the construction of these cabinets either. The plywood is cheap. You can see here it's cracking. Um, the veneer is very thin. The paint it just leaves something to be desired. These are very cheap cabinets. And I knew that going in, but I was really hoping that they would actually work instead of just shattering and causing me, you know, a big headache. So I'm not sure what's going to come of this. I'm going to try to get in touch with RTACabinetStore.com. I saw like they have a lot of bad negative reviews, and I probably should have read those before getting into this. But bottom line, if they don't take it back, I'm going to have to make custom modifications to, to piece these cabinets back together or I'm looking at a loss of at least $400 to return these things, which is just terrible. So I do not recommend these. Uh, now they are wholesalers, so they get different products from all over the place. These particular cabinets come from a company called GHI uh, Custom Cabinetry, and the product is made in China, which probably explains why the alloy in those screws is super cheap, as cheap as they could get, just to save on costs. But this might not all be on RTA Cabinet Store, but they certainly should have reviewed these products before putting them out to customers to buy online. And that's all. I don't recommend this product. Don't buy it. You'll probably regret it. I broke two out of 10 screws on my first attempt at assembling a cabinet with regular torsion using a screwdriver. So. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you got something out of this, and I'll see you in the next video.